In this tutorial, we'll look at how to duplicate an object in a scene using nested projects to manipulate a mask and how to add effects to help sell the effect of the mask. Sometimes you might want to use smart object tracking to duplicate something in your footage. Let's mask this horse. And I'll use medium sensitivity. And once it's done, let's have a look. That's tracked pretty well. My intention this time is to duplicate the horse so that there's two horses in the frame. So I'll add the same horse clip to the track below. And then turn the opacity of the mat to zero. I'll then swivel the bottom clip through 180 degrees to mirror this clip. Which leads to a pretty strange looking result. In my case, I want to reposition and scale down the masked horse, so it looks like there's two horses. But if I try to reposition the masked horse now, you'll notice that the clip moves, but the mask doesn't. So what I'll need to do is nest the masked horse and the clip mask in a nested project. But I'll first add a bit of feathering to the opacity effect. Then I'll right click the clip, select group, then create nested project. This creates a new sub project within my project. And if I double click into this group, you can see I now have two timeline tabs. And I'm able to edit the nested project, then flip back to my main timeline. I can now move and scale this nested project so that the mask and the clip move together. As the masked horse is smaller than the main horse, to give the illusion of depth I can add a blur effect, as if the masked horse is a bit further away. Let's watch it back. This is looking pretty good, but because both horses blink at the same time, it feels a bit uncanny. So I'm actually going to zoom in on my timeline and offset the masked horse by a few frames. I can then set in and out markers. And I could export this clip out to use in a larger edit. You could use this duplication effect in a number of different ways for some fun results. For more creative applications and compositing tips with tracked masks, please see our other smart object tracking tutorials. Happy editing!